If while I'm painting I distort or destroy a motive, it is not a planned or conscious act, but rather it has a different justification. I see the motive, the way I paint it, it is somehow ugly or unbearable. Then I try to follow my feelings and make it attractive. And that means a process of painting, changing or destroying for however long it takes until I think it has improved and I don't demand an explanation from myself as to why this is so.
Richter seems to be a photographer who is bored with the craft. He is unimpressed by the process and its direct products. Instead, he would like to impose his own process. Richter experiments with other smooths as well as he did for abstract painting, taking a squeegee to the canvas to reveal early layers of paint and photorealistic painting using various methods to blur what would have been a crispy may. Richter would often blur his subject and embrace chance effects in his own painting process in order to show the impossibility of any artist conveying the full truth of a subject in its original condition. Such a means for suggesting that something essential to the model has been lost in translation often lets a viewer's attention to the oil pigments dense material nature, thereby demonstrating both its expressive strength and shortcomings. Richter's output characteristically alternates between traditional and avant-garde attitudes, between non-personal processes and personal motivation, between construction and destruction, as it also does between concealing and revealing. Über Malerei zu reden ist ja nicht nur sehr schwierig, sondern vielleicht sogar sinnlos. Und das betrifft das Malen, das Was und Wie. Überhaupt nur das, was ich nicht kapiere. Das ist ja eine, eine, eine heimliche Angelegenheit, dieses Mal. Das ist ein schönes Zwischengefühl, zwischen ertappt und aber auch gesehen wird.